Hey, really quick, I need to do an intro uh, after the video is filmed, which I don't normally do, but this is for 2020.36, and it takes some time, I didn't realize how I was driving, but it takes some time for the speed limit signs to show up. I put it off like a bunch of crazy stuff to try out, um, and in the beginning I try it and it doesn't work, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Um, but I'll probably skip most of that. I'll, I'll piece it together so the story still makes sense of the video. But yeah, telling you that up front will allow me to cut a lot more and get the video straight to the point. Um, if you do end up enjoying it, please hit like and get subscribed. So uh, enjoy. One more thing, I'm editing this and I'm realizing I'm not sure I'm clear. Once it starts detecting the speed limit signs after the calibration process or whatever happened, it detects all of them. Even some, you'll see in the video, there's an example, like behind some tree branches, it's detecting like everything. So it's very good at it. Also, did you see my last update video when I jokingly like put my VIN up? Like there's no reason for me to get updates any faster than anyone else. But I was like, hey, Tesla, if you're watching this, you know, uh, blah, blah. And I actually was in the first 5% of uh, this update. So, you know, if you're watching this Tesla person, thank you so much. And if you're not shy, put your VIN in the comments and maybe, maybe they'll uh, put you on some special list. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out Tesla software update 2020.36 with uh, one gigantic improvement and a couple other cool ones. So first up here, if you want to read any of this, just go ahead and pause the video. First up, we're looking at green traffic light chime. So if you pull up to a red light and you're sitting there waiting and it turns green, your car will chime at you. They remind you, like always, the chime is only designed as a notification. It's not taking responsibility away from you. You should be paying attention anyway. But I think this is awesome. Everybody's distracted sometimes, either looking at the car next to you or whatever. And uh, this will make sure you know it's green and you can go. So that's an awesome improvement. And then speed assist improvement. So this is the really exciting one. Speed assist now leverages your car's cameras to detect speed limit signs to improve the accuracy of speed limit data. So the car can now read speed limit signs. So we will definitely be testing how well it can read speed limit signs. We'll do some real examples, of course. I have a spot, at least one spot near me that's always wrong, and we're gonna go see if it'll be correct. You know, maybe wrong initially and then correct when it sees a sign. I also made a bunch of these. Let me zoom out. Also made a bunch of crazy things. So we'll try these out as well. So the last one here, we have a new way to change our cruising speed. So if you are driving and let's say you're set to 55 in the little blue circle, you'll see it in a minute here. And uh, you're actually hitting the pedal and going 60. I guess you can just tap the tack right there. Of course, that brings up my charging screen, um, but you can hit your speed limit or you can hit the speed that you're going and it'll change your set speed to that. So we will test out it as well. Okay, so it is raining just a little bit, but that's okay. It was just storming like crazy. I'm glad it calmed down. Um, we'll get out here and test some of these while there's a little bit of light left. Um, we're gonna put the speed limit signs here first. Now, I'm sorry if you are not in the USA. I did not print out any speed limit signs from other countries and I really should have, but sometimes us Americans, we forget anyone else exists in the entire world. Um, so I'm just gonna set them up right here. So this is a private dirt road. Um, and so I think if you were to put up speed limit signs randomly on a road, that's probably really illegal. Um, but this is a private road. My only concern is, is I, I hope it doesn't have a memory so that once I'm going to start with eight miles an hour, because I thought that was kind of a weird number. You don't see that very often. Um, and I hope that once it sees that it doesn't just memorize that. Uh, but let me set up the sign and we'll see if the car can see it. All right. I think that looks like a pretty good speed limit sign, at least hopefully good enough to trick an autopilot camera. Uh, let me put this on just in case the car, you never know if it gets weird when the seatbelt's off or whatever. So we are far enough away, it looks pretty small. We'll approach it and nothing is being displayed yet. All right, one more thing I wanna try, which is just like extra ridiculous. Um, so I made this, uh, I just put it on like an old selfie stick. So let's get going and see if we can change our speed. So nothing. <laughs> I know the camera can see that if I put it like won't read it. Oh, I should have put it on there sideways or something. Wow, that's so dark. I'm sorry. So as we head out um, to the city to actually see some speed limit signs, I don't think there are any on this road. We can talk about the green light chime. So in the settings, you go to autopilot and right here, green light traffic chime. Um, I will put that up. Hopefully you can read that. You can pause if you want to read that. Um, and it'll just chime when the light turns green. You do have to enable that. Oh, look out for that guy. All right, so we're on our first road here that actually used to be wrong. It used to think it was 40 and the speed limit is 50. So it's been corrected. I have not passed the speed limit sign yet. Um, and so we won't get to test if it's wrong on this road and then gets fixed. But on the next road we're gonna go to, it's been wrong, it says 25 and really the speed limit is 30. So we'll see if that uh, catches it. So do not pass sign, does not get picked up. Here comes the speed limit sign. It's getting confused by the yellow. Um, I don't really mind and no 
It didn't show, it didn't display that. Um, what? I am not sure what is going on. Um, I'm gonna reset right here really quick because, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not seeing any stop signs, or sorry, I'm not seeing any speed limit signs. Um, if somebody comes up behind me, I'll go, but not usually a very busy road. Okay, somebody was coming up. This restart was taking forever. It's always a good idea to restart after an update. I usually do, and I just forgot this time. Uh, it helps work out, you know, some of the bugs. So we're back up and running here. And that speed limit sign again was not detected. <laughs> I think it showed a garbage can. What is happening? This is just, this is messed up. Well, while we're driving here, let's test out the new way to change your speed. So I'm gonna hit the accelerator up to 55. And if I click that, it changed this to what I was doing. So that's cool, I guess. I don't see myself using that too much, but it's always nice to have the option. Um, we can try it uh, one more time. So I'm gonna go down to, let's go down to 40. Nobody is behind me. I can just show you that, just so you know. Um, and if I speed up here, just hold it at 49, 50, click there and boom, it changes it to the speed I was going, let off the accelerator, and then, then we're there. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so this next road where I'm turning right, this is the one that I was expecting it to uh, fix my problem because it thinks it's 25, but really it's 30. Um, so we're gonna turn here, but I haven't seen a single speed limit sign yet. So there's one. There it is. Oh my gosh, finally displayed it. Are you kidding me? Okay, so, and it fixed it. You saw when I first turned the corner, it thought it was 25 and then it changed it to 30 when it saw the speed limit sign. All right, so coming around the corner here again, it thinks it's 25, boom. And then right when it sees it, it changes to 30. So let's see if it sees the next one up here. Slow it down a little bit. And yeah, it displayed that one really early. We can go back up to the speed limit now. So here's another, this is a school zone speed limit sign. So that is not legally in effect right now. Let's see what the car does. It sees it, oh, and then it ignored it. So we don't know if that was a fluke or not. Well, that is nice that it did fix my problem. This road, again, it thought was 25 all the way until it goes up, up here to 40 or 45 or something, and it did fix it. There's another speed limit sign for us. Okay, so now it's gonna move up to 35. And there it's displayed. 35 and it changes my speed so that's cool so it can detect the numbers on the sign when it sees the sign really well um, so we can bump this up don't want to make anybody mad we'll go up to 40 so we have a 45 sign up here let's see if it displays that and there it is yep it said 45 on there um, so really good okay so now that we got something to work I want to try this one more time I'm in a parking lot it's well lit and everything um, so maybe that'll help who knows uh, and, oh, and look at it's working. It's working. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. 25 and it shows 25 up there. What the heck? It's got an arrow. There's no arrow on the ground. That is so cool. Oh, I wish I could get out and move it around and see what happened. All right. Let's try some of these other ones. I wonder, you know, we got the eight. We got the hundred. I got a hundred miles per hour. Oh my gosh. It's going to be sweet. All right, here we go. Eight miles per hour, non-standard speed limit sign. You see, it remembers the 25. See, that's the thing is it remembers there was something there. And look at now it, it's still displaying 25, but it's like super far away for some reason. Um, let's let's give it some more some more distance here. Maybe it needed like to calibrate or something. I don't know. I don't know why why um, it couldn't see him before. So yeah, it still is seeing. I don't want to hit that thing. It's oh now it says 15 miles an hour, right? Yeah. So look at that. Now it says 15 miles an hour. That's pretty interesting. I wonder, see, it may not be able to display eight. I don't know if that, it just can display any number or, or what it's capable of. All right, now we have a blank speed limit sign. Again, it's probably gonna see, it remembers that it's there. So you gotta take that into account. It has some type of memory. As we approach this, there is no number on there. And yep, it's just gonna say 15. So it's gonna stick with whatever it remembers. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it just kept the 15 there. There's obviously nothing for it to read, so it doesn't know what to think. All right, now we get the big boy. 100 miles per hour. Is that a real sign? Does that exist? I really don't know. Um, but my car does not think so. It does not seem to want to read a 100 mile per hour sign. Oh, now it says 30. Okay, so definitely confused with the hundred 
Um, again, I, I don't think there's a 100 mile per hour speed limit sign, uh, but I don't know how this works. I, I don't know if it just it sees the number and, and reads it, or if it has, uh, it must have graphics um, stored for the different speed limit signs that are in the US um, and different countries. And if there's no 100, it's not gonna be able to show that. And if the last one didn't work, I can't imagine this will, but we gotta try it. This is- It's over 9,000! And nothing still shows. What nine thousand? Uh, I am gonna move that though, um, just in case the memory is messing it up, and we'll try it from a different angle. Okay, so you can see I took the sign away. I'm curious if I hit that. Yeah, <laughs> it's still gonna display it because, like I said, it has that memory, so it thinks this. Of course, speed limit sign shouldn't be moving around. Ooh, it kind of actually tripped me up when I looked up and it wasn't there. That's weird. Um, so as we pull forward, it still is gonna just remember that that's there, even though it's not. So I moved the sign. Uh, let's see. And changed our speed to 45, but didn't actually display the sign. And had to give the 100 one more try. Doesn't work. But it does display a 30, so that's pretty funny. Okay, so my thought is that needed some time to... Wow, it's so dark. I hope you can see okay. Um, it needed some time to calibrate. So that's my thought with that. Um, let's get to a green light, and let's uh, check out the chime, and then I think that'll be it. Yeah, now it's picking up like every speed limit sign. It's ignoring the school signs, so that's interesting. Um, I was looking for, see, there's a 30, picked it up, changed my speed. It's picking up every single one, so I really think it was some kind of calibration issue or something like that, um, but it's working now, so that's good. I was looking for a digital uh, sign. I wanted to see if it could read that. Couldn't find any around me right now, um, but maybe in the future, or comment down below if you have this ability on your car and you have uh, seen a digital sign and how it worked. So even that one was kind of blocked by the tree, saw it, no problem. One more, no parking sign on it, and picked it up, works fine. So I'm going to let the car do everything. The car is going to stop at this red light. I'm not doing that at all. It's about to turn green. And there's the chime. I can hit this. It showed that cyclist for a second. And we'll continue through. So that worked perfectly. It chimed uh, just a second after it turned green. So it's not going to know you right away. Okay, so we are not in cruise control this time. And there's the chime again. So let's try it one more time. I would imagine if you respond uh, quick enough, it's not going to chime at you. If you start to go, of course, it will know that you're going, so it doesn't need to chime. Now we have a car in front of us, um, and it should work the same. If the car in front of you goes and you don't, it'll chime. Uh, but I think that uh, if I respond quick enough, it will not chime. So green, I hit the accelerator, no chime. So that's nice. It's not going to bug you if you're paying attention. Um, and if you are not paying attention, that's perfect. So I love that. I will definitely be leaving that on. <laughs> I've never noted, I've not, I haven't driven at night. Haven't seen the blinker in that camera view. So that's going to be it for me, guys. Check this out. Speed limit sign. Boom. Caught it. Uh, we often have them when a new road starts. I'm sure it's uh, like that in a lot of places. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Really nice. Just needs some time to sync. Um, and then it works great. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, and you will see me and my car in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along. <laughs>